Hey y'all, welcome to Season with Love. I'm Casey. Welcome to my kitchen, y'all. So, I'm going to show y'all how I got to where I'm at right now before we continue, okay? Alright guys, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> y'all know I sound excited. Y'all looking in this pot right here. This is a pot of pig ears and pig feet that I'm getting on the stove right now. Y'all, they've been washed with vinegar and salt thoroughly. Y'all can see they look beautiful. I'm about to boil them up. I'm getting ready to make some south meat for my old school subbies. If you're from down south and from the south, you know about that south meat, that hog head cheese, y'all. It's going down right here on Season with Love, y'all. Hog head cheese, a.k.a. south meat. All right, guys. I got my pig feet and pig ears on the stove. I didn't put nothing in them except some all-purpose seasoning and a bay leaf. When we get ready to put the sauce meat together, that's when I'm going to show y'all all the ingredients and what we're putting in this sauce meat. You know, all I'm putting in here right now is pig ears and pig feet. Whatever meat we get from the pig, I'm not putting no neck bones. I don't like a chunky head cheese, okay? So... This is what we putting in it. If you like all that, y'all be my guest and make it your way. I'm giving y'all my way. Y'all try it my way. I promise you it won't be no other way. <laughs> this is the way you're going to go. I used to do all that and, and I, I liked it, but it was something that wasn't right. And when I tried this recipe here, I haven't been back ever since. Okay, it's been years. I've been making it like this. If you know me from Facebook. You know, I've posted my sauce meat, my head cheese a couple of times. I'm making a batch right now. Decided to bring this recipe to you guys right here on Season With Love. So stay tuned, y'all. We making head cheese or AKA sauce meat. Mm. All right, you guys. So this is my pig feet and pig ears chopped to a fine consistency. Y'all see, I boiled it for five hours, okay? With nothing but what y'all saw in the pot. Okay, so it's basically just pig feet and pig ears boiled down. I've chopped it and minced it to this consistency. And I have here the liquid that I boiled it in. Okay, so I'm going to add um, several cups of liquid to my pig feet and pig ears. Okay, I have a two cup measuring cup here. I'm going to pour some of that liquid into it. Okay, I'm going to start with these two cups of liquid right into the pig feet and ears. Okay. Now I'm going to give this a mix. We're making sauce meat or head cheese. Okay. I know a lot of y'all don't eat it. That's all right. If it's not for you, that's okay. Okay. Maybe you want to make it for your grandmama or your granddaddy or somebody. Okay. So we're going to start with that amount of liquid right there. And now we're going to go in with our seasonings. That's why I kept one hand clean. All right, y'all. So we're going to go in. We're making hot sauce. We're going to go in with some crushed red pepper flakes. Okay. We're going with about uh, that much. Teaspoon. Okay. That mixed in. We're going in with some fresh cracked black pepper that I cracked myself. Get that in there. Garlic powder. Get that in there. Okay. We going in with some salt. Okay. Mix it in. Not too much. Now I wanted to show y'all. I have a McCormick rub sage. And I have this Markham cheap ground sage. I'm going in with both of them. I'm going with that cheap ground sage first. About a whole teaspoon of that cheap ground sage. This is what's going to give you that, make it taste like that old southern hog head cheese in the factory, okay? Now I'm going with our rub sage. Small amount of that, not too much. Okay.
I'm feeling like I want just a little bit more liquid in here. It's a little thick. So I'm going to go on with a little more liquid. Okay. Yeah, that's more to my liking. Right there, I can tell by feel, okay? You want it about this texture. Okay. Now, I'm going to go on with a spoon and get us a taste. All right, I'm going to add a little more crushed red pepper to it. Okay. I'm going to go on with some vinegar. About a tablespoon. And I'm going to go on with a little bit more garlic. Okay. A little bit more rub sage. And a little bit more ground sage. Okay. Give that a mix. Okay. Now, I'm not going to add any more salt because y'all know I boiled this with the all-purpose um, seasoning. Okay. So, now I'm going to get a little taste. I'm going to go in with a little more vinegar. And plus, the vinegar helps preserve it. We are essentially making a cold-cut meat. Okay. Like bologna or ham or something like that. That's all you're making. Except this one is made. Let me get this to taste. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is. I'm going to take a ladle full of this. And I'm going to put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. And then in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. So I can see how it's set up. It's perfect for me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and set some up for y'all so y'all can see what it's looking like when I'm done. Stay tuned on Season With Love. We're making head cheese, a.k.a. sauce meat. Alright, All right, guys. We back with our sauce meat here, y'all. I wanted to show you guys how it has set oh, up. Here's what it's looking like in the container. Okay. Open this up. Okay, this is what it's looking like. You're gonna run your knife around the edge of the container. Okay, and you're gonna take it out. Now, it depends on what kind of container you put it in. You might want to saran wrap your container or whatever. I, I just made a small container so I can show you guys what it's looking like, you can see what it's tasting like. Before, you want to do a small container before you do a large amount. Because if you need more salt, if you need more vinegar, if you need more crushed red pepper, black pepper, garlic, sage, you want to be sure of that when it's set up, okay? Tasting it when it's warm and tasting it when it's cold is two different things. So how I'm going to cut this container is I'm going to cut it in half, okay, right across. I'm going to give it a nice slice. Now, if you have a slicer, that's even better, okay? Y'all see what it's looking like in the inside? Oh, it looks amazing. You see that fresh cracked black pepper? You see the crushed red pepper flakes? Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this into half again and into quarters, okay? Because I want to slice it in the nice thin slices so it can fit on my cracker perfectly. So you see what it's looking like, you guys? You guys give it a taste see if you like it okay a small container will set up fast for you okay you guys give it a look see oh my goodness this is hog head cheese I know it might not be for most but it is for me and my family we grew up they used to sell this right around the corner in the bodega. You had original and you had spicy. And my grandmother, Miss Maddie, used to send us to the store to get her hog head cheese or AKA South meat all the time and we'll eat it on saltines. That's exactly how I'm gonna serve this today. On some saltines, okay. Rest in peace, Miss Maddie Bell Rice. And I'm gonna ser uh, serve up this saltines in the memory of my grandmother and show y'all what it's looking like okay you guys stay tuned right here on season with love 
We making hog head cheese, aka South Meat. Look at the, all right, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at this delicious cold cut meat. Okay, and that's essentially what it is. Just like a slice of bologna, a slice of ham. It's a cold cut. Okay. Now they just call this hog head cheese or head cheese or sauce meat. Me and my family, we call it hog head cheese <laughs> or head cheese like my grandmother did. But this is not made from a hog's head. Y'all saw how I made it? It's the seasonings and the spices that make it, oh my goodness, just delicious. Give this recipe a try if you grew up eating this and I'm bringing back old school memories and you grew up eating this head cheese and you got that craving for it like I had, I just had to have it. And I said, you know what? I did my research, I came up with my recipe, and I put it down. And it tastes amazing. Give this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed if you're craving some head cheese, okay? And I didn't put no neck bone like that regular pig feet meat in here. Y'all see the meat dotted through there. You know, ear, pig ears. Now, I don't eat pig ears. Okay, like pig ear sandwiches and stuff like that, I do not eat. Okay, I do eat pig feet, but I don't eat pig ears. Unless it's in this head cheese, okay? <laughs> so they have to be cut up real fine and cooked very, very well done in order for me to enjoy. Well, if y'all like the content I'm putting out, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to Season With Love, y'all. And this may not be for all of you, but thanks for watching. And God bless.